name is Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Was that him? Well, good news, Sherlock Holmes fans. There's yet another movie version of the famous detective, but I guarantee you this is a Sherlock Holmes you have never seen before. This one, Mr. Holmes, is based on the book A Slight Trick of the Mind by Mitch Cullen, and it reimagines Holmes long after the author Arthur Conan Doyle retired this famous detective uh, to the English countryside to tend to his bees. Uh, he's now 93 years old. It's not the image we've ever seen of Holmes in all of those movies and books. Watson is long gone. All the characters we grew to know and love from the books are long gone. And uh, the only human contact he really seems to have is with his housekeeper, a war widow by the name of Mrs. Monroe, and her young son, Roger, who really takes a liking uh, to Holmes. The relationship between Roger and Holmes is absolutely perfect here. You're not going to die. I had a great uncle who lived to be 102. What are the odds that you would know two men who would live that long? Well, I didn't actually know him. And the great twist is that Holmes is actually a real person. And the movie makes wry comments on Holmes talking about his portrayal in movies and books. Ian McKellen is just superb as Mr. Holmes. He's reuniting here with director Bill Condon, uh, who did Gods and Monsters. They are right in the same territory here. They know how to deliver a small gem of an independent movie that depends on the dialogue, beautifully scripted here by Jeffrey Hatcher, and uh, the settings. Uh, they do a lot with a small budget and wonderful actors. Those actors, in addition to McKellen, include Laura Linney. Uh, she is perfection as Mrs. Monroe, which could have been a stereotypical one-dimensional role of a housekeeper, and instead she brings such grit and warmth and realness uh, to this portrayal. I also loved Milo Parker. What a find for the filmmakers here. He is perfect as Roger. A truly great kid performance here. Uh, he's wise way beyond his years. And how would you tell that a man's visit was about his wife? Clothes are freshly pressed. Then his wife must press them. Men don't have the talent and he can't afford a servant to do so. Very good. Uh, if you're looking for something different this summer, a small independent film, that's gonna make you feel good. I really have to say the answer here, my dear movie fans, is elementary. I say, go.